I've never been on a blind date before. I'm open to the challenge. You're a witch. Yeah, I'm a witch. Are you interested in sex magic by any chance? I could be. I just started doing a bit of drag. <laughs> What's your own drag queen called? She's called Lunatic. Lunatic. <laughs> <laughs> I like to sort of mix goth fashion with like kink fashion as well. Nice. Come over, kiss me on my hot mouth. I'm feeling romantical. <laughs> I'm ready. My name's Jack, I'm 26 and I'm from Ellsbury. I've never been on a blind date before, but I'm open to the challenge. Hey, how's it going? What's your name? Summer. I'm Mika. I'm Sabrina. I'm Bijou. Nice Oldie. Um, I'm 27, I'll be 28 in April. I'm a Taurus. Myself? <laughs> Is that not good? No, I don't know. <laughs> I've known some bad Tauruses in my time. And where are you from? I'm from Ellsbury. Ellsbury. Okay, so... Ellsbury. Yeah, I just make fun of my accent. Oh, sorry. <laughs> if you were an ice cream flavour, what flavour would you be and why? I would be either... Rocky Road or like Raspberry Ripple because like I like to make waves. Oh. Like I like to like stand out and be different. What kind of things do you normally do for fun? Um, I'm a bit of a club kid, so I'm out a lot. Like, what's like your favorite type of music to like club to? Techno. What about you? Yeah, like I like a mix, like a bit of R and B, bit of hip hop. I feel like you're lying. I feel like you just like a bit of Ed Sheeran. Come on now, come on, have some respect. <laughs> I don't know where the f Ellsbury is. Yeah, mate. I'm not surprised to be fair. And we, we have a David Bowie statue, so there's that. Okay, well, I'm in music, I'm a singer, so David Bowie. You like David Bowie? He's quite a mystic, because I'm a witch, so I'm kind of, I'm interested in the mystical. You're a witch? Yeah, I'm a witch. What, what define, what makes you a witch? Um, a woman who's in her power. That's what a witch is. You sound like you're in your power to you. I am. I'm very in my power. Don't, I won't curse you. Are you sure? I'm positive. It depends, though. Are you interested in sex magic by any chance? I could be. Yeah, because sex magic is quite fun. I could be intrigued by some sex magic. Yeah. So how's your relationship with your mother? <laughs> As a hard left, hard left turn. I just started doing a bit of drag. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah, so I do a little bit of drag makeup sometimes. Interesting. What's your own drag queen called? Um, she's called Lunatic. Lunatic. <laughs> do you like it? Fair enough, yeah. I'm not mad at it. <laughs> Would you ever try a bit of drag? Get um, the heels on. I don't know. That might be slightly out of my... <laughs> <laughs> Are you not in touch with your femininity? Yeah, I would say so. I definitely like appreciate that in a guy. I find like the toxic masculinity stuff a massive turn off. Yeah. Like it's such an ick. No, I would say not about it. That's not my vibe. I would say. I just need to know what what trauma I'm working with and what energy <laughs> I'm engaging with and how you're going to treat me. So, um, what is the relationship with your mom? No, I have a good relationship with my mom. Um, if she's watching, hi mom. Uh. <laughs> I sort of describe my style as. I like to sort of mix goth fashion with like kink fashion as well. Nice. So what's your usual type you go for? Um, I often end up with like bisexual men that look like they smell like a bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I might have the second one covered. What's your usual kind of guy you go for? Definitely alternative, um, because I have like my own look and <laughs> um, I like someone who's interesting to look at, you know, tattoos, like piercings, maybe like a cool sense of style. <laughs> okay, that's, that's an interesting type of my <laughs> <laughs> What's the weirdest place you've had sex? Um, uh, my mum and dad are watching this one, but... Uh... <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I keep it pretty, uh, pretty classic, you know, like pretty, pretty simple. Maybe like our party or something like that. Oh, okay. Fair. What about you? <laughs> Five guys twice in one night. Five guys. Yeah. Twice in one night. Yeah. So two rounds of five. <laughs> I think she means the restaurant. Oh. Right? <laughs> What sort of like girl do you go for? Like, um, sort of like kind of similar thing to what you said. Like, okay. um, like alternative girls with like their own sense of style. Have you ever cheated on anyone before? I've never been in a relationship. I've been cheated on. <laughs> oh really? Have you ever cheated? 
You know. Uh... <laughs> Next question. I've always sort of, I guess, drawn the short straw with my like past relationships. What about you? Have you cheated on people before, or are you a nice, respectful, young, um, young no, man? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a huge uh, gentleman, me. You know, I'm like, in my younger years, I may have um, been less respectful, slightly. I see. I see. So what's the reason you haven't been in a relationship, you'd say? <laughs> I think my makeup overwhelms people a bit. Can you describe it? <laughs> I guess I'm a clown. <laughs> okay, so it's actual clown vibe. Yeah. Do you believe in paying on the first date? I would pay, yeah, just naturally, but... Yeah, my rule is if a girl offers, then... then I'm gonna split it, do you know what I mean? I mean, where I am quite a, a stronger woman, I kind of like to have, you know, sometimes let the man take the lead and for the first date pay. I don't mind if we start dating and we split things or whatever, but there is something quite nice about being, you know, wined and dined a bit, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah I can't imagine what kind of guy would be able to take control over you, to be honest. You sound very intense. Would you say it's too much? Low-key. Low key. So what is what is too much in me that bothers you? Where do I start? Come over, kiss me on my hot mouth. I'm feeling romantic. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What the hell? Have you not seen the animated video? <laughs> I've never heard never heard of that in my life. <laughs> Slightly concerned now. <laughs> What's your uh, favorite sex position? Oh, God bless you. Um, favorite sex position? Probably on top. No. Um, you know, I'm not gonna go, oh, reverse cowgirl. Like, what are we, 18? Like, you know, like, I think I just lost a couple million brain cells throughout that last conversation. Um, yeah, that was, that was tough. They went well. I feel like the first one, I felt like we were getting on pretty well. She seemed like a cool person. The second one, she sounded nice. She sounded like a bit more intense than the first one. The third one terrified me, deep to my soul. Last one, she seemed like she was a bit shy. Do you have an idea of who you would choose? Yeah, I do, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> Sup, ladies? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Everyone, this is Jack. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. Hello. <laughs> well, I forgot his, what his name was. <laughs> it's like a muted version of Post Malone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number three's revealed. <laughs> it's nice to put a face to voice yeah, though, because no, when you're looking at a curtain, it's like... Yeah. Which number girl would you have chosen? Uh, based off the chat, I had the uh, best chats with number one, I'd say. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. <laughs> Jack, if you hadn't spoke to any of them and you were walking past them in the street, who would you choose? Yeah, I'd pick someone. I can't <laughs> Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> I might you go? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Girls, what do you think to Jack? Is he your type? Um, no. You're no. not quite not, my type, not, not but really. I, re I do really like your style. I think it's quite quirky. I really appreciate that. This is like quite toned down for me. Is well. it? Can, you should have toned it right up. up. Obviously, I could, I could try and match this. You should have toned it maybe. right up. <laughs> I feel this energy. I love it. Does yeah. anyone else feel that? What's yeah. going on here? I like I it. Like you have lovely good, energy. Good night yeah. You, now, now I've got a face to your voice. I feel like I like you more. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. A curtain doesn't do justice. No, it doesn't. Do you think this experience has made you think that you judge people more based on appearance? Yes, I yes. definitely do. Like if I'm. If I think someone looks interesting, I'm more inclined to want to talk to them. Yeah. Whereas if they don't, I'm like, I don't really care about talking to you. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Thank you, Jack. Thank you, guys. Definitely scarier than I imagined in my head. Like, I was gassed, like, oh, date four girls, but nah, scary. <laughs>